Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be doing a PetSmart Confessions Volume 1 Annoying Customers. Okay, so just a disclaimer, if any of these things that I am about to say remind you of yourself or any of your friends, you need to really take a step back think what the fuck am I doing with my life and reevaluate okay so let's begin okay so starting off those that don't know I used to work at PetSmart I worked at PetSmart for maybe two and a half almost three years I was a cashier and then I was a manager for a little bit Nothing wrong with the PetSmart company. PetSmart as a whole is a great company. They do great things. They're associated with um, rescues. That's where they adopt all their animals out from. We do not get them from puppy mills and stuff. Maybe in the States, like I can't speak for the States. I'm talking about Canada. Um, our fish and our reptiles, yeah, they would come from whatever bulk places to buy them from but all our bunnies cats dogs they're all coming from rescue organizations that are local around bc and i think that is great they did multiple fundraisers and donation runs for those organizations and for yeah overall PetSmart can't complain liz was a fucking bomb ass manager okay i've never had a better manager than liz shout out to liz you were the fucking best um we're gonna go ahead and start just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way i am only complaining about dumbass customers okay let's begin so um most people know that we open at whatever nine o'clock nine thirty you don't need to sit outside in your car calling us over and over and over and over and over and over again. I'm either not going to answer the phone or I'm going to hang up on you because I don't want to listen to that phone ringing and ringing while I have to open till. Do not call the store before we are open. I'm not going to answer. Do not call the store after we are closed because I'm not going to answer. Don't ever come into a PetSmart store 10 minutes before closing with a brand new pet that you have never owned before saying you need help finding everything. Come in at 5.30. Come in at 6.30. Come in at 7.30. Come in at 8. Come in at 8.30. 8.50? Are you seriously going to come in at 8.50 with a puppy and tell me you've never owned a puppy before? What do I need to do? Bruh. Come on. Come on. Okay? Don't ever come into the store right before closing saying you're going to be quick. And then try the whole fucking rack of dog jackets on your dog. Okay? I'm not about that. I will tell you to get out. I got places to be. I got to be back here in the morning at 9.30. Like, I'm not trying to be here longer than I need to okay so come in get what you need to get or come back tomorrow and try the whole rack and then some on your dog okay um don't think that you're smart and funny by pulling the sale tag off another product and putting it on the product that you want to buy because I'm gonna know when I see a 25 pound bag of dog food and it's got a sales tag for plush toy number 12 it's not gonna work Put your dog on a leash please don't ever expect a bogo weekend flash sale even like black friday don't expect to come back the next week and say can i get that sale price what about all the people that were standing outside waiting at 6 o'clock in the morning on Black Friday to come in to get those sales prices? So, and then what about all the people that went home because we ran out of those products because they sold out so quickly because they were on sale and then next week we get a new shipment and all those people come back and have to pay full price. What makes you special? 
Okay, just gonna put that in your head. Um, we have a very generous return policy, I think. Um, as long as it's in, you know, used to new condition because we need to resell it. Um, or if your dog, we're very understanding if your dog doesn't like the food or if your cat doesn't like the food, cats especially super picky, that's okay. Try it out for a couple nights and then bring it back. Don't bring back a bag of food with this much left in it and want a full refund. I don't, I don't think that really makes sense. Also, don't buy like a toy and bring it back completely shredded. What is a toy for? Um, I don't really know. That's just like common sense. Are you fucking kidding me? The amount of times that people would bring back this mangled toy. Oh, it, it was supposed to be, you know, durable for my... Okay, it is to a certain point. So are you letting your dog just sit there and gnaw on it all day long? Are you sure you've got a chewer? Get the fuck over it. Stop returning their toys, buying new ones, and returning them. You're cheap as well. When you're telling me that you know the price because you saw it online, when I ask if it was .com or .ca, know that you should be looking at .ca because I'm not going to validate any prices that are on the .com website because we live in Canada. We live in Canada, okay? I would love to get the US prices on everything, okay? Shop online, go pick it up over there. Go pick it up over there in the States, okay? Pet your dog on a leash please would argue with me like no that's not you don't have the right sales tags up but it's on on the website for this much okay dot com or dot c i'm gonna need you to pick your dog up and put it on a leash you know pick your dog up or put it on the leash i don't care what you do at this point just fucking do something before i get yelled at okay I'm trying to be if you ever come in asking for like a super specific thing in dog food like what dog food has the most fiber in it and expecting me to just drop everything and the line of customers that are just sitting there waiting for me to come look at ingredients on dog foods with you no you're a grown ass person do it yourself or you know what even better yet do your research before you even come in it's called google okay try it like don't waste your time don't waste my time if you're gonna come and ask me for recommendations and i'm gonna spend 20 minutes on you telling you the funny benefits of this food you're just gonna go and buy pedigree bruh bruh you shouldn't even be fucking owning a dog at that point okay i'm just gonna say that any of you guys are feeding your animals pedigree or whiskas unsubscribe for me like click out of this video don't even stop you shouldn't even be owning pets do you know what's in that food do you know what is in pedigree like comment down below and tell me what you think is in pedigree put your dog on a leash <laughs> this is my favorite one again don't waste your time especially like don't waste my time when i am telling you we don't have a product in the back we don't even have that product in the back I would tell people still, I'd be like, okay, like, I'll go look. I would go back there and fucking jerk off. Like, what do you think I'm doing back there? I'm telling you, we don't have it. I'm just going to go stare up at the ceiling. We don't fucking have it, bitch. Like, I know our inventory. We're a small store. I work there every single day, day and night. I know for a fact that we don't have it in the back. Okay, and I'm gonna come back after I jerked myself off and I'm gonna tell you, yep, sorry, we don't have it. Like, what a waste of all of our time, seriously. Mm, like, watching your dog shit and piss all over our fucking store and then just assuming, okay, A, assuming I'm gonna pick it up, B, when I do come at you and tell you, hey, your dog just took a fat fucking shit, go clean it up, don't come at me saying, that wasn't my dog. I've been following you around the store because I've seen your dog looking like it needs to take a shit. Or I've seen your dog lifting its leg on every single corner that is in this store. We have a pet cleanup station right over there. Oh, where? I can't see it. Where? Right over here. I'll take you. I'll take you. Come with me. Okay? There's gloves. There's everything you need over there. Okay? 
clean it. Moving on to like the fish. The, that's just like the tip of the iceberg. This is like volume one, guys, okay? This is the tip of the iceberg. Okay, now we're getting into the fish part of it. Don't ask me for a goldfish to go in a bowl, a one gallon tank, or anything smaller than, oh, it's 55 gallons. Dude, goldfish get huge as fuck. They do not belong in a bowl, okay? And then when I've given you all this information, okay, I've been nice. I've gone out of my way. I've given you all this information on how you need to take care of this goldfish. Don't then go to another associate of mine and ask him to get it for you because he's going to tell you the exact same thing. You <laughs> I don't want to turn around in an aisle to see you fishing out your own fish. I'm right there. You can say, hey, excuse me. Excuse me, I need some fish. No problem. When you need, I'm coming. I'm right there. I don't want to see you fishing out your own fish. Don't come in to buy advanced fish or any fish at all with the knowledge of a fucking rock. Do your research and come back. I honestly spent so much time with people explaining everything to them and they still didn't get it, okay? Fish, it's not just a simple fill the bowl up with water, throw the fish in, feed it every day. It's not like that. You need to do your research and then come back, okay? Okay. Try and return your dead fish like months later. I would hear customers on the fish wall like talking to other customers saying all this shit that they thought that they knew and I would come and contradict them right away because they were saying some dumbass shit like you can put betas in with goldfish. Okay. Moving on to the grooming side, so I never worked in grooming, however, some of my best gal pal, Nika, you know, Stella's groomer, and Katie, they gave me a little bit of insight of the fucking dumb shit that they see in there. Um, I got a little bit of it just because I had to, you know, book appointments and take people in. Don't expect to be VIP and receive an appointment whenever the fuck you want, okay? Honestly, grooming books up real fast. Don't say, you know, what's your availability? And then them tell you your avail their availability. And you say, oh, nothing sooner? Oh, you can't get me in tomorrow? What the fuck did they just say? Okay. Also, grooming is not daycare. Fun story. This is a true story while I worked there. There was a person they dropped their dog off at like 11 a.m. to get groomed so the groom 11 12 1 2 they were done around two o'clock so we called them they were gonna come on their way four five o'clock rolls around we're like hi you know did you forget your dog is still here when are you coming to pick it up oh we're coming we're on our way right now we're on our way six seven o'clock hi you know your dog it's the only one left in the store now he's been sitting in his kennel since 11 a.m what are you doing oh you know we're coming fuck they went to the wrong store they went to like some other store and then they ended up coming maybe like at 8 40 they came to pick their dog up when they dropped it off at 11 a.m and they came at 8 8 30 p.m obviously we took the dog out to have a little toodly do but it was in that kennel pretty much all day we're not daycare if we ask you to be prepared and bring your rabies in don't tell me call my vet do you know how long it takes to call a vet get on the phone hi i'm looking for this client okay hold on please let me la 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 look no, I want you to come prepared with your rabies so we can get you in, take the dog, boom, boom, boom. I have, well, not I. They have so many dogs to see that day. They don't need to be jerking around after you. Come prepared. Um, showing up late to a grooming appointment is honestly never acceptable. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. These are just, you know, a couple really annoying fucking things that customers would do at PetSmart that would just piss me the fuck off so again if you recognize any of these things that I said don't fucking do it reevaluate cheers